A fiery duel erupts in space between two spaceships, lasers blazing. One, desperately seeking refuge, plunges into a swirling wormhole, leaving its pursuer behind. This wounded vessel streaks towards Earth, obliterating a satellite in its path. The ship crashes in a remote Mexican jungle, spewing debris, and an alien warrior, a predator, escapes in a pod before the final impact. Meanwhile, Sniper Quinn McKenna stalks a cartel operation. His shot triggers the fiery descent of the Predator ship, sending Quinn tumbling. Recovering, he stumbles upon a fragment of the Predator's armor. Suddenly, his teammate Dupre appears and suggests they stash the tech. As Quinn examines the arm brace, a gruesome sight chills them. Their comrade hangs lifeless from a tree, ripped apart. A cloaked figure emerges, the Predator. Bullets whiz harmlessly by as it cloaks and uncloaks with horrifying speed. Dupree falls victim to the alien's attack. In a desperate move, Quinn activates the arm brace. A blast erupts, momentarily stunning the Predator and severing the hanging body. Seizing the opportunity, Quinn flees, clutching the brace and a mysterious sphere it ejected. A covert government team led by Traeger swoops in, securing the Predator and any salvageable wreckage. It's clear Traeger knows more about these extraterrestrial hunters than he lets on. Reaching a nearby town, Quinn clears a bar at gunpoint. He anonymously mails the bagged armor to his son, a heavy secret in transit. Left with the enigmatic sphere, Quinn makes a daring choice. He swallows it whole, anticipating the power it might hold. Rory struggles and a mysterious package. While Quinn is on a mission, his son Rory faces challenges at school. Diagnosed with autism, Rory is often ostracized or bullied by his classmates. This is evident when two older boys disrupt his chess game and mock him during a fire alarm. Despite the chaos, Rory displays his exceptional memory by perfectly restoring the scattered chess pieces. Back home, Rory receives a package sent by Quinn, sparking his curiosity. Government secrets and a captured predator. Meanwhile, government agents abruptly take Dr. Casey into custody. They reveal shocking information, crashed alien pods, and evidence of frequent visits by a race called Predators who enjoy hunting. Quinn undergoes a suspicious evaluation at the facility, suggesting a government cover-up. He's then put on a bus with unruly prisoners who mock his alien encounter story. Casey's discovery and the Predator awakens Doctor. Casey joins Traeger and his team, witnessing an arsenal of alien artifacts and a captured, sedated Predator. Traeger explains their theory about human DNA found on the Predator, hinting at past contact. After reviewing the files, Casey demands to speak with Quinn, alien arrival and escape. Suddenly, the captured Predator awakens, overpowering the scientists and unleashing carnage. Amidst the chaos, Casey grabs an alien sample and flees. The security system forces her to go through decontamination, leaving the Predator an escape route. The Predator realizes missing equipment, sent to Rory, and departs, ignoring Casey in the showers. It then retrieves a helmet from the facility and disappears. Chaos erupted as the creature activated the helmet, pinpointing Rory's location. Ignoring the scientist's frantic warnings, the Predator unleashed a bloody rampage, slaughtering soldiers who dared to intervene. The bus stopped, and the soldiers finally acknowledged Quinn's warnings as they witnessed the Predator stalk across the rooftop. A desperate plan formed. The group initiated a brawl, luring guards into the bus. With a flurry of fists and stolen weapons, they subdued the guards and sent them flying off the vehicle. Casey and the bus, in a bizarre chase, pursued the Predator, who, in turn, set its sights on a spaceship pursued by jets. Leaping from the roof, Casey attempted to take a shot, only to accidentally wound herself. Quinn's retaliatory fire was thwarted as the Predator blasted a tire, crippling the bus. While the men scrambled for alternate transport, the jets relentlessly pursued the spaceship, only to be obliterated by its sudden cloaking technology. Casey nearly met her demise at the hands of the remaining guards, but the others arrived just in time on newly acquired bikes. The Predator, meanwhile, stowed away in a departing truck, leaving a trail of dead soldiers in its wake. The team found refuge in a motel, anxiously awaiting Casey's recovery. Disoriented upon waking, she clutched a shotgun, fearing for her life. Quinn calmed her, explaining that Traeger's men, not them, were the enemy. Casey, understanding her predicament, revealed details about the sample. While piecing together the puzzle, 
Quinn realized the Predator was hunting Rory to reclaim its lost gear. Meanwhile, oblivious to the danger, Rory donned the recovered helmet, unaware it had activated. A horrifying revelation played within the helmet. The Predators enhanced themselves through brutal DNA splicing, explaining the human DNA they found. Thrilled by this dark knowledge, Rory donned the helmet and arm brace as his Halloween costume. By the time the group reached Rory's house, he was already gone. Quinn explained the situation to Emily, who, with a heavy heart, provided him with a weapon. Though initially hesitant, the other soldiers, impressed by Quinn's skills and swayed by Emily's pleas, agreed to join the search. Back on the streets, Rory's costume drew ridicule from pranksters. Ignoring them, he approached a house, mocked by the homeowner who threw something at him. In a shocking twist, the helmet retaliated with a deadly blast, incinerating the house and sending terrified children scattering. The explosion alerted Quinn and Casey, drawing them towards the unfolding disaster. A terrified Rory, discarding the helmet, fled for safety. He found solace in a baseball field, befriending a stray dog in a moment of heartbreaking innocence, completely unaware of the monstrous power he'd unleashed. A group of people are inexplicably brought together on a strange planet, and hunted by vicious alien creatures. They fight for survival, using their unique skills to overcome the threats. After a tense encounter with monstrous hounds, a predator, a technologically advanced extraterrestrial hunter, confronts the group. The predator captures one of them, forcing the others to surrender their weapons. However, Quinn, a resourceful ex-military man, disobeys and injures the Predator, causing it to retreat. Meanwhile, the government, led by the suspicious agent Traeger, becomes involved. They believe the Predators are collecting human DNA and want to get their hands on the technology. Traeger captures Rory, a young boy unknowingly holding the key to activating a Predator ship. Quinn and the others manage to escape with the help of an unexpected ally, a surviving alien hound. They find another Predator ship and use a cloaking device to infiltrate it. A fight ensues between Quinn's group and Traeger's men, further complicated by the arrival of the Predator itself. The Predator reveals its goal, to destroy the ship and capture Rory, who it recognizes as a worthy warrior due to his genetic potential. It sets a timer for the ship's self-destruction. Forced to cooperate, Quinn and Traeger work together to escape. The Predator activates the ship's weapons, killing several humans. Traeger attempts to use a Predator weapon, but accidentally blows himself up. The remaining humans injure the Predator, but it escapes with Rory. Rory, revealed to be the true target, McKenna as the Predator calls him, is taken away for reasons unknown. The group is left stranded with a grim future, as the Predator continues its mission. Quinn, Nebraska, and Nettles clung to the spacecraft as it took off, their fingers barely gripping the cold, metallic surface. The roar of the engines was deafening, and the force of the ascent threatened to throw them off. Just as Casey reached out to join them, Nebraska pushed her away, ensuring her safety as the ship surged upwards. Rory, wide-eyed and terrified, saw the Predator activating a shimmering force field inside. He screamed into the comms, warning his father. Quinn reacted just in time, rolling to safety, but Nebraska was caught outside the barrier, his body slamming against it. Nettles wasn't as fortunate, the force field severed his legs, sending him plummeting to his death. Determined to stop the Predator, Nebraska made a desperate decision. He threw himself into the ship's turbine, causing it to sputter and shake. The vessel began to descend, smoke trailing from its engines. Using the distraction, Quinn sneaked inside the force field, but his shots barely grazed the Predator before the ship's violent movements threw him off balance. His leg caught on a length of rope, saving him from falling to his death. The spacecraft crashed in a fiery explosion. The Predator emerged unscathed and enraged, advancing on Quinn. Despite his best efforts, Quinn's strength was no match for the alien. Just as the Predator raised its weapon to finish him, Casey, cloaked and silent, sprang from the shadows. She latched onto the Predator's back, firing a shot into its head. The alien roared, stumbling forward. With a surge of adrenaline, Quinn pushed the Predator off the edge of the wreckage. Quick thinking and resourceful, Rory activated the force field, severing the Predator's arm. Casey caught the dismembered limb and threw it to Quinn, who used it to deliver the final, fatal shots to the Predator's head. In the aftermath, Quinn gathered mementos from his fallen comrades. He and Rory shared a solemn moment, honoring Nebraska and Nettles' sacrifice. Days later, Quinn stood in a newly constructed government facility, 
where scientists, with Rory's help, prepared for future alien threats. They unveiled the mysterious item the Predator had stolen and was being hunted for. The Predator Killer Armor As the armor enveloped a scientist, its lethal potential evident, Quinn declared it his new suit, ready to protect Earth from whatever might come next. That's all the time we have to dissect Predator 2018. Did you enjoy the hunt? Let me know what you think of the movie in the comments below. And if you want to stay on target for more Monster Mash mayhem, hit that subscribe button.